polymorphism can be can sometimes be really really difficult to understand in C++ because if you research polymorphism on, on online, uh, especially on Google, you'll get, you'll get probably a, a three page explanation of what it is and it probably did, probably won't make any sense as it, as it did for me. It, polymorphism was actually like was like the last thing that took me ages to understand. Uh, when I was learning, when I was when I was learning C plus uh, plus back in the early days, and the best the best analogy that I can give of of what polymorphism is is that you've got to understand that the word polymorphism is it's, it's originally a, a Greek word, and what polymorphism is in 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 the Greek language was was it was the definition of many forms. And I can give you guys two real life examples of uh, polymorphism uh, that can that can that can that that can explain this idea of, of what it is. Let's say, for example, that uh, you're a, that you're a startup entrepreneur, and you know you're in the foundation of starting a business. Uh, applying with the concept of what polymorphism here. Is that when you're a startup, when you're a startup entrepreneur, you have to do a lot of the things yourself. So, in regards to starting a business, uh, in regards to, in regards to polymorphism, you might have to do the development work. That's one thing that you have to do. You'll have to do the marketing. That's another thing that you have to do. Uh, you'll have to do the sales as well. Uh, that's a, that's a third thing that you might have to do. You might have to do the accounting and bookkeeping as well. So those are three to four different things that the same person has to do in one business. You see, those four, those four things that I've just explained are four different areas of the business, but the same person, that, but that same one person is doing all those different things. That's what, that's what you, you could say what polymorphism is and that that's how we can define what polymorphism is in in that in that analogy another example of polymorphism uh in real life i guess is uh let's let's look at me um i'll, I'll, I'll i can give you guys another uh, a, a, a second example uh more examples here uh let's look at myself here uh i'm a man uh, i i think you, can, you guys can tell that but I'm also uh, a brother uh, because I have an older older brother. Uh, I guess I could say that I am an uncle as well because I have uh, nieces and nephews in my family because my brother and sister uh, now have children. So uh, I'm also me. Uh, I'm also a son uh, to my mother and father. So those are three different things that I am, but yet I am the, still the same, the same person. So I am a brother, an uncle, and a son. And let's, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can give you another, a, a third example to make, it, to make it even more concrete. I guess in polymorphism as well, even though I am, uh, I am me, uh, Sahil Bora, I could classify myself as a, a, an engineer, uh, a software engineer, uh, a writer, uh, an entrepreneur, uh, and a marketer maybe. Uh, I'd probably stick with the, with the three things because um, uh, that, that, that's what I, because that, that's, that's, I guess that's what I do in my, in my, in my day to day life, in my, in my career, uh, as giving, giving this example. So. In regards to polymorphism, uh, I am the, I am me, Sahil Bora, but I do those three different things. Of yes, I do have a full time job as a software engineer at the moment, uh, so I work for I, I, so I'm a I'm a software engineer, and I'm also a writer because I've published two books, uh, including the one C plus plus better explained and how to win in mathematics, and I guess I could classify myself as an entrepreneur because I am running this business and I am taking all the financial risk and the financial risk of, of running this business but I'm also in charge of uh, 
everything in the business from from all the front end to the back end and, and everything of it. I don't like to I don't like to call myself an entrepreneur because I, that word is like um, I feel like that word that that word is like part of like a um, it feels like I'm part of part of like a club that um, I, I don't know it's 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 a different story. You can you can you can you can email me and ask me about it. I'm just I'm just so sick of so sick of the uh, online entrepreneur space in in this, in the last three to five years lately, and I've kind of like backed myself away from it. But those are three. Those are three examples that I can give you. Three concrete examples that I can give you, explaining the concept of um, polymorphism. Attention, computer science and engineering students. Are you tired of falling asleep in class while your lecturer spills that C plus plus gobbledygook? My name is Cycle Bora, and I'm the founder and proprietor of the C plus plus Better Explained website. What I'm offering you guys today is my 87-page book that outlines how to quickly and easily master the fundamentals of the C++ programming language. So if you've been searching around for free C++ tutorials that haven't made any sense at all, or free YouTube videos that have made you want to gouge your eyes out, my book will put all that rest today. Because my book is written in a straightforward and direct manner that will give you understanding the fundamentals of the C++ language in a matter of days using my, my learning tools such as analogies for dummies, logic made easy, and simple code diagrams that makes learning the C++ language brain dead easy and super fast. The book is $19, so click on the orange button below and pick up your copy today. You will not regret this at all.